Okay, so today we are going to do um, art based on cave drawings. So I hope you in got a chance to watch some of the links posted below and learned a little bit more about art um, in cave drawings. Um, there's also, so here I've got three different examples of cave drawings that I have done based on the cave drawings found in France. Um, below there is a link to this handout which gives you some of the cave drawings that um, you would could find there possibly. But for today's art lesson, we're going to do the archer. What do you think? Does that sound cool? Yes. So it's going to be based on this drawing right here. And this is the guy or girl, depending on what you see here. Okay, so today you need paper. Uh, thicker is a little bit better. Uh, mixed media. Charcoal pencils. And watercolor. Okay? So I'm going to put this guy over here. Um, and feel free to go back and do um, other cave drawing pictures too that you are inspired by. And I'd love to see them. All right, so we ready? We want our paper to go up and down, portrait style. And I'm gonna move yours over just a little bit right there. Sound good? Okay. okay. So here we go. With our charcoal pencils, we're gonna do the bow first, this curved line near the side. So I'm gonna do fairly large and when we're doing our cave drawing with our charcoal pencils you want to do shorter rough lines it's supposed we're supposed to be imagining as if we're drawing from the charcoal of the fire in the cave so quick curved line on the side perfect i love it um and then about halfway down our bow we're going to put the hand of our archer okay so we're going to do a sideways v or u about halfway right through that line like so great now there's no what i like about this art project is that you can't really mess up too much like if you make it too small or too short or too fat or too thin just go back over it again it's supposed to be like as if we're sketching on a wall so no mistakes here so now we're going to follow these two lines up into the arm and you want it to get just maybe a little bit fatter because our arms tend to get a little bit wider as they approach our body, right? So thinner to wider. Great. Now let's go ahead and draw two parallel lines for the body, okay? So we're going to go right over these lines. Here's one line like that. And then in a parallel line right next to it, um, maybe about an inch, inch and a half. I'm gonna go down about halfway. This is great. You're doing a good job. Great. So we got our body, our torso, and our arm in our hand. Now let's go ahead and put two lines in or horizontal up here at the top for the shoulders. Excellent. Now let's put the neck on. So we need two vertical lines right next to each other for the neck. He's kind of square. If you want to round off the sides to make him more round or her, uh, feel free, but it's going to be great. Now let's put the head on. So I'm going to start at the back line right here, and I'm going to go straight up and then rainbow out this way rainbow or curved line over towards the shoulder perfect then i'm going to go straight down but a little bit out and then connect it to the front of the neck let's see oh very good excellent now go back on over those lines we want them to be a little bit thicker and then you can fix it if you think he's too square or too round or whatever I'm going to attach this arm a little bit more there. How's yours? Oh, very good. Now let's put on his second arm, okay? The one that's coming down the back of him right here. So from the shoulder, you're going to put a diagonal line out about halfway down his torso. Perfect. Then at an angle, go straight over all the way through his torso. Yep, yep, that's perfect. 
so that's his arm. Now we're just going to curve back and follow that line back up. I'm just following that line that I just drew and then right up to the torso again. Very good. It's like I made a lightning bolt arm, right? I've done tree before. Ooh, you have. Cool. All right, so we've got the torso. Let's put the legs on. This is going to feel weird at first. This back leg of our archer is just going to curve a little bit for the rear end and then straight down near the bottom of the page. He's going to look like he's got a really long leg, but he won't. Good. Now remember, go back over the line. You want to make it kind of thick. Scratch it. Now the front leg is going to be an action stance, okay? So this leg is going to go down, but at a diagonal out towards the bow, if you will. He's getting his action stance. He sees his target and he's ready. Very good. Now the in so we got the front and back leg, but we're going to draw an inside V shape to finish the legs. So I'm going to follow this leg up and then V shape. And I made my leg. Excellent. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yeah. Now if there's any part of your archer that you think needs to be changed, now's the time to do it. If you want to make your bow bigger, go ahead and put lines over. I mean my feet touch the bottom. So yeah, if like you, yeah, if you don't like the unfinished lines that I have, just bring them all the way down to the bottom of the page. Totally okay. great. Right? Um, I'm actually fairly happy with this person here, this cave person. So I'm I'm gonna let go of it. How about you? Let me finish this. Okay. All right, cool. Now we don't need our charcoal pencils anymore. So what we're gonna do is put those aside. I'm gonna leave this one right here so we can keep an eye on it. And I'm gonna share this with you. We need our water and our paint brushes. Here's yours. I need to get the two seat. <laughs> and then our paints. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the background on, okay? So with the yellow, what I want you to envision is as if there is a fire in the cave and the yellow is the reflection of the fire bouncing off the cave walls. So that's what this yellow is in the background. Yellow. And we've just finished drawing our archer. Yellow, red. Yeah, so we're gonna wet our paintbrush. And the first thing we're gonna do is, with the yellow on our paintbrush, we're gonna go around our archer. Now once you've gone around, we're gonna do quick towards the edge of the paper, just fill it in with the yellow. Now I like to not make it smooth since it's supposed to be a reflection of the fire. It doesn't have to be all filled in. So leaving some white spaces kind of makes it Okay, so once you've done a quick yellow background, you're gonna splatter just a little bit of red or orange to show like a different reflection of the fire on the cave wall. So red or orange, either one. I'm gonna go red. Okay, so I got some red or orange on my paintbrush, and then I'm just gonna flick it onto my um, background. It's fine if it gets on your archer. So I'm just gonna do just a little bit, not a lot. Just supposed to have a little bit of a fiery kind of look. So once you've done a little bit of splatter, not too much, right? Because you don't want to take away from your central figure or theme of your drawing. You're going to get a clean paintbrush, right? So take the, the red or the orange off, depending on what you use, just water on it, okay? And then quickly, just to make it look more like smoky on your picture, you're gonna go over your charcoal pencil briefly. 
to kind of just smear it a little bit. You know, if this is a cave drawing, it's supposed to look old, right? So one of the, once you've finished and you've got your art and you like what's happened, you have to do the most important thing. What's the most important thing when you're all done with your art? Sign your name. You always have to sign your name, right? Always put your signature on. On sure, Pete. Awesome. When it's all dry, if you want, you can tear the edges of your art when it's all dry. Don't do it while it's wet because it'll tend to um, root, like go too much with the paper, um, but that's up to you. Um, mm -hmm. It gives it more of like an older look and since we're doing ancient art right now. Yeah, but so what'd you think? Did you like it? Uh -huh. Yeah, super easy, fast. Um, Thanks so much for joining us and hope you come and do another art project with us soon. Bye. Bye. Continue art. Thank you. Bye.